take a pill, go away from it, make it numb so I can get on with my life, right? This is part of your life. I get this question all the time, where to start overcoming H. pylori infection. If you have any stomach problems, you're dealing with Helicobacter pylori, you tried antibiotics, you tried proton pump inhibitors, acid is coming up, pain, indigestion, where to start. In this video, you're gonna get three practical things, how to get started right now without buying supplements, without buying more tests, medication. Little disclaimer here, the things that I'm gonna tell you, pharma doesn't want you to know that. Your doctors probably won't agree with me and maybe something inside of you tells you like, yeah, but that sounds too esoteric, that sounds too simple, but this is actually what healing really is about. It's simple, it's not complicated. Getting started with number one. This is so simple, it almost hurts and it's the opposite of what doctors, pharmacy, and our medical system has trained us to believe. Your awareness, your presence is powerful and is part of the whole healing process. The body will physically recover faster if you focus on the area, in our case, the stomach. You can put your hands on, they are electromagnetic, they're incredibly powerful. And simply by, whenever the next time the pain, the discomfort, the symptom is coming up, instead of what we've been told, take a pill, go away from it, make it numb so I can get on with my life, right? This is part of your life. I know this hurts. I know, I understand if you get upset and you're like, no, I wanna, I have so many things I wanna do and my body is just working against me. So next time the discomfort comes up, instead of going into this movement, it's not just you, it's not your fault. We've all been trained and brainwired this way. We're going in the other direction where you actually become inquisitively interested being aware when it comes up, taking time for it. That's what the body asks. Whenever a symptom comes up, what the body really wants is attention because the body's showing you something. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to become aware of something in your life, in your body that wants to transform into more light and more bliss. So I'll break this down and make this really practical for you. Next time the symptom comes up, the pain, the discomfort, the acid, lie down or sit down and do nothing else. As discomfort and uncomfortable it is, I understand it's not fun. Allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to feel the pain, to feel the discomfort. And simply with your awareness, you go to the stomach, already clicking off and like, oh no, 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 I wanted, I wanted a diet plan. I wanted supplements. I wanted to fix this. This is it. This is one of the tools that is one of the most powerful tools that nobody wants you to know it because it doesn't sell well and it actually requires you. And you will notice the more often you do it, I'm not saying like 24 hours just sit there and do nothing, but even just five minutes of allowing the symptom to be there and bringing your presence into it, you will notice that something shifts. There will be less density of you needing to fix something, something is wrong, this belief system, oh my god, I have to, you know, run anywhere and even if the discomfort doesn't go away completely what will come is more peacefulness more calmness you will also might be able to receive more insights from your gut feelings what can also help so first thing awareness your focus instead of going away from it going towards it allowing the symptom to be there experiencing it fully second first thing to do when overcoming when you want to really like deeply inside yourself, overcome H. pylori, not just by fixing something and popping pills, but by really, really healing your body from the inside out. Second thing that is free as well for you is nature. This is another thing that is so simple and that most tribes, for example, here in Peru where I live, they know that. They know that when you're sick, you wanna to go to nature. You wanna immerse yourself in nature. And the reason why this works is because your body is nature. It's not, there's nature out there, nature out there, and here, here, here am I, right? Here am I, here's my body. Imagine like Earth, like all the, all the things that are alive on the planet, every ant, every plant, everything, every piece of sand, every, every body is like an organism. Like it's one, Earth is one organism. It has an intelligence in itself. Might be too esoteric for you, but it actually works. I helped 300 plus clients with this mindset to transform their gut struggles. So when you're dealing with physical issues, when we're dealing with H. pylori, which is a bacteria that occurs in nature, you want to go and reconnect the, the daughter or the son, depending on your body, with Mother Earth. 
barefoot walking, go out there, touch plants, immerse yourself in nature. Yes, eating nature is one part, we're gonna to come to that in the third point, but the connection, the contact with nature is essential for your cells, for your body to heal, including natural waters, including sun, rain, snow. By simply every day spending time in nature, you will notice that your symptoms change. And again, that the insights that you're receiving will be more clear on what the next steps are. This is why when most people are on holiday and they go into nature, they feel better, they feel less stressed. And that's not just some hoo-hoo esoteric thing. It's actually something that you can measure in your electromagnetic field and in your immune system. People who are spending more time in nature have a stronger immune system and they have a different electromagnetic field that is stronger and that promotes health and that destroys viruses and pathogenic bacteria like H. pylori. Rinse and repeat so far. First thing to heal H. pylori, instead of going away from the symptom, allowing yourself to bring your awareness to it. Every day, five minutes, I know it's uncomfortable in the beginning, it's definitely, that's the most powerful thing you can do. Second, reconnecting your body with Mother Earth because your body is part of earth and part of nature and that's where the healing happens as well on all kinds of levels. And third one, simplify. Often when it comes to H. pylori, it's all complicated. I have to do all these protocols and buy all these supplements and things like that. Healing is really, really simple and your body knows how to do that and does it anyway all the time. The third thing, simplify means when it comes to food, the less variety, the less variety is better. Digestion takes a lot of effort. You will notice you will take the effort out more for your body while still getting calories if you just eat one or two types of foods. And we're talking about real foods. We're talking about alive foods that are from nature. Nothing processed, as pure as possible. It doesn't have to be raw. By H, for H. pylori and gastritis and stomach infection, sometimes it's too much if you eat just raw food. So for example, a carrot soup. Just a carrot soup, maybe with a little bit of onion, some sea salt, can be really, really good to first calm things down. Simplify is the opposite of doing more and more and more and more protocols and buying more supplements and more of that. Instead, focusing on easy, simple steps. And if you need help with that, I created just new, brand new, it's out, the Stomach Healing Challenge, which is a seven day Kickstarter for you, gives you a meal plan, again, super simple shopping list, simple stomach friendly recipes and much more healing information, things that I talk about here, but in a more concise form also with a tracking protocol. It's a really fun and easy week to do to just get things started and then know how to progress because you actually know which foods are good, which foods need to be avoided. So you can always check back in after that week and don't have to be dependent lifelong on medication. It's called the One Week Stomach Healing Challenge.